the Barbs, it's your girl Asia and welcome back to the Barbs TV. So as you can see in the title, we are going to be talking about self-confidence slash self-love slash self-esteem. I'm here with my ginger bear, <laughs> but yeah, it's a juice. Um, ginger bear, mm -hmm. So today in this video, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. To be honest, I've never like um, hated myself or like wanted to die or anything like that. But that's fortunate for me, but not everybody else. So I'm also going to be talking about that. I'm also going to be reading you guys' response because I asked on my Instagram. I want to put it right here, so go follow it if you haven't already. But I'm also going to be reading out the responses. I asked you guys why um, you love why what makes you feel insecure or what makes you feel not what does it what makes you not feel confident in yourself and i'm gonna read it read it out to you guys because i prefer to do this more than to go on google and say what can you do to boost your confidence or ask siri or something so i prefer to interact with my people like my followers to see like you guys like you guys like what makes you not what google said but you so yeah i'm also going to be doing that i want to be summarizing up everything and i'm also going to be giving some tips and some tricks and just like have a conversation with you guys you know like in my last video i just had a conversation with you guys i'm just having a conversation with you guys to say and tell you guys how i feel and my experience so anyways, enough of the chit chatting and explaining and all of that, let's just get right into the video. My experience with low self-esteem. So, <clears throat> it's with YouTube. Remember, I am the, none of my family members never done YouTube before, but my dad did. Oh yeah, that's alright. My dad did, but not like this. He was just a music producer. Anyways, I've never had anybody to tell me like, what to do what to expect anything like that i had to find out all out in research and whatever no what what makes me not like give me self doubt and low self-esteem is that like when people hate and i haven't been getting a lot of hate not a lot but i've been getting more positivity than hate but sometimes i let the hate get into my head but yeah and i appreciate the positivity a lot so i just focus on that more yeah. um youtube like sometimes i haven't sometimes i don't be posting like for weeks it's just that some i just don't feel like sometimes i just don't feel motivated sometimes i just don't feel like i have a lot in a good enough content for you guys to watch sometimes i just feel like I'm just born like why are you guys gonna watch this type of video or whatever i just be doubting myself having low self-esteem or if i just have a pimple like a coat I like i normally get pimples i don't know if you guys can see it i normally get a lot of pimples right here i don't know why they're just always popping up right here i was sometimes i just be like no i ain't doing a video because <laughs> no but um i just that's not for that's like the first time when i was starting youtube but I still get it sometimes, but yeah, I'm not perfect. But anyways, yeah, that was my experience with low self-esteem. Like, I just kept doubting myself. I just get kept letting what people were saying or thinking what people would say about this. And just, you know, just all that chaos. Just all that negativity getting into my head. But yeah, that's my um, experience with low self-esteem. Well, one, because... You're just that's one of it i'm telling you one of it so now i'm going to read in you guys responses to what make you feel insecure or make you lack <coughs> feel lack con to what makes you lack self-confidence so i'm not going to read your usernames but some you guys did say just to show you that people said something but i'm not gonna say the usernames or anything like that so anyways somebody said social media so they're saying that social media let them feel not good enough or low self-esteem somebody said um criticism like when people talk about them somebody said 
how I look and the cuts on my legs. So like they have cuts or things on their legs and how they look. Somebody said my breakouts slash my eczemas. My eczema. Somebody said uh, my body. So they're not their body. Get it? Yeah, their body. Somebody said my skin and my looks with sad faces so what i can see is that most of us most of us feel insecure about our body about our body parts and what people think about us when people talk about us and that is natural like that is okay don't feel like that is just okay. that's okay okay yeah so i'm in my kitchen anyways let's keep talking so um as i can see that most of you guys are what i saw what most of you guys are insecure about and that is okay like it's it's okay like it's understandable to why you would feel that way to why you'd be insecure about your body but somebody said that they had spots on their skin i do too i think i showed you guys this before but yeah i do have I do have spots on my skin and my legs so the thing is when I was smaller I used to like always wear jeans and pants and long shirts and all of that just to just to cover these things on my skin but I stopped doing that because I kind of accept it so because my dad used to have it my brother used to have it my uncle, my uncle used to have it my sister used to have it a little bit but not a lot like me and i have it so i just accept it that it's in my gene i can't do much about it it's just how it is and growing up with it for so much years i just kind of just get right used to it i guess i just kind of get used to it i, I guess i just kind of get used to the idea that i have spots on my skin so i would say it's just that to accept yourself and is it if it's about like your belly or your belly fat if you want to do exercise if you want if you can help the situation and you're that committed to do that to the exercise and eat properly then sure go for it but if you don't have time for that and if it's just energy just accept it baby girl baby boy anybody <laughs> just accept who you are just accept what makes you feel insecure if somebody's talking about you just accept like okay I, they're just a fan just think of them that <laughs> they're just a fan just accept as long as you accept it they're gonna have to accept it as well so it's basically like you're in control really because when you think of it people are followers to be honest so as long as so from once them see somebody in something they're gonna be doing it too so from once them see that you accept who you are are you confident in yourself then they're they're gonna they're gonna say anything they they won't have anything to say about you if that makes any sense i hope i'm making sense but is that i'm making sense yeah making sense and sometimes it's not even it's not even that it's not even that we just lack self-confidence sometimes we just need that little boost or we just need somebody to say yeah girl you look cute or yeah girl i like your hairstyle or you know yeah girl i like your outfit sometimes it just need somebody to say that <clears throat> no maybe you're not you maybe you won't have anybody to say that to you so just say to yourself look in the mirror and tell yourself you're beautiful anything you want to tell yourself you look sexy <laughs> or you got a big ass booty <laughs> whatever the situation is um anything you want anybody to tell you just tell yourself just look in the mirror and you have to say it under time to actually believe it Say it on your time and believe it. Okay. And what I get to understand too is that when you help somebody, even if it's for the smallest thing, like if you're helping them with their math work or if you're just giving somebody direction or just having a simple conversation or telling them that if they're feeling down or you're just telling them that yeah, like you look good or whatever. Whatever the situation is. Um, when I help people like that, I don't know, I'm, I'm talking to myself. When I help people like that, it makes me feel useful, like I just did something good. Like I just make somebody feel better. Like I just help somebody. So it kind of made me feel useful. And maybe you can try that too. You know, like people, or maybe you, 
or anybody compare themselves to like celebrities like the kardashians or whoever they're just comparing yourself but you need to stop that so if somebody can make you feel inferior or like you're below their level or whatever unfollow them even if me make you feel less than unfollow me on instagram like anybody make me feel less than i'm gonna unfollow them or if anybody make me feel jealous of them or like oh my god i wish my body was like that or something <coughs> unfollow them because that's not helping you in no formal way so if you gotta just unfollow them and to just stop thinking about them then 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 do it then do it i feel like it's too dark out here i'm going back into my room it kind of also apply it also it also kind of apply to self-hatred or self-love it's accepting yourself that's like the biggest thing just accepting yourself and everybody will accept you somebody so like if you don't know how to accept yourself the, it's just two things <clears throat> can you change it can you change the situation ask yourself this can you change the situation if you can are you willing to change the situation if you can do it if you want to do it can you not change the situation if you cannot change the situation accept that you can change the situation first and after you accept that then you accept the way things is you understand that that was our last lesson right there baby girl i what, what i was saying though though is that you just need to accept yourself and that is just the that is what you're supposed to get from this video i'm going to end this vlog right now this video right now i hope you guys enjoy this i sure you will i hope you guys enjoyed that video anyways thanks for watching and thumb this video up and subscribe right now thank you see you next time barbs